Rod calculus or rod calculation is the mechanical method of algorithmic computation with counting rods in China from the Warring States to Ming Dynasty before the counting rods were replaced by the more convenient and faster abacus. Rod calculus played a key role in the development of Chinese mathematics to its height in Song Dynasty and Yuan Dynasty culminating in the invention of polynomial equations of up to four unknowns in the work of Juchija. Hardware The basic equipment for carrying out rod calculus is a bundle of counting rods and a counting board. The counting rods are usually made of bamboo sticks, about 12 cm to 15 cm in length, 2 mm to 4 mm diameter, sometimes from animal bones or ivory and jade. A counting board could be a tabletop, a wooden board with or without grid, on the floor or on sand. In 1971 Chinese archaeologists unearthed a bundle of well-preserved animal bone counting rods stored in a silk pouch from a tomb in Qianyang County, in Shanxi province, dated back to the first half of Han Dynasty. In 1975 a bundle of bamboo counting rods was unearthed. The use of counting rods for rod calculus flourished in the Warring States, although no archaeological artifacts were found earlier than the Western Han Dynasty, since the rod calculus software must have gone along with rod calculus hardware. There is no doubt that rod calculus was already flourishing during the Warring States more than 2,200 years ago. Software The key software required for rod calculus was a simple 45-phrase positional decimal multiplication table used in China since antiquity, called the 9-9 table, which were learned by heart by pupils, merchants, government officials and mathematicians alike. Rod numerals Displaying numbers rod numerals is the only numeric system that uses different placement combination of a single symbol to convey any number or fraction in the decimal system. For numbers in the units place, every vertical rod represent 1, 2 vertical rods represent 2, and so on, until 5 vertical rods, which represents 5. For number between 6 and 9, a biquinary system is used, in which a horizontal bar on top of the vertical bars represent 5. The first row are the number 1 to 9 in rod numerals, and the second row is the same numbers in horizontal form. For numbers larger than 9, a decimal system is used. Rods placed one place to the left of the units place represent 10 times that number. For the hundreds place, another set of rods is placed to the left which represents 100 times of that number, and so on. As shown in the image to the right, the number 231 is represented in rod numerals in the top row, with one rod in the units place representing 1. Three rods in the tens place representing 30, and two rods in the hundreds place representing 200, with a sum of 231. When doing calculation, usually there was no grid on the surface. If rod numerals 2, 3, and 1 is placed consecutively in the vertical form, there's a possibility of it being mistaken for 51 or 24, as shown in the second and third row of the image to the right. To avoid confusion, number in consecutive places are placed in alternating vertical and horizontal form, with the units placed in vertical form, as shown in the bottom row on the right. Displaying zeros in rod numerals, zeros are represented by a space, which serves both as a number and a placeholder value. Unlike in Arabic numerals, there is no specific symbol to represent zero. In the image to the right, the number zero is merely represented with a space. Negative and positive numbers Song mathematicians used red to represent positive numbers and black for negative numbers. However, another way is to add a slash to the last place to show that the number is negative. Decimal fraction The mathematical treatise of Sun Tzu used decimal fraction metrology. 
The unit of length was 1 chi. 1 chi equals 10 kuns. 1 kun equals 10 fen. 1 fen equals 10 li. 1 li equals 10 hao. 1 hu equals 10 hu. 1 chi 2 kun 3 fen 4 li 5 hao 6 shi 7 hu is laid out on counting board as where is the unit measurement chi. Southern Song Dynasty mathematical Qin Jiu Shao extended the use of decimal fraction beyond metrology. In his book Shu Shu Ji Zhang he formally expressed 1.1446154 day as he marked the unit with a word underneath it addition. Rod calculus works on the principle of addition. Unlike Arabic numerals, digits represented by counting rods have additive properties. The process of addition involves mechanically moving the rods without the need of memorizing an addition table. This is the biggest difference with Arabic numerals, as one cannot mechanically put 1 and 2 together to form 3, or 2 and 3 together to form 5. The image to the right presents the steps in adding 3748 to 289. Place the outend 3748 in the first row, and the aden 289 in the second. Calculate from left to right, from the 2 of 289 first. Take away 2 rod from the bottom add to 7 on top to make 9. Move 2 rods from top to bottom 8. Carry 1 to forward to 9, which becomes 0 and carries to 3 to make 4. Remove 8 from bottom row. Move 1 rod from 8 on top row to 9 on bottom to form a carry 1 to next rank and add 1 rod to 2 rods on top row to make 3 rods. Top row left 7. Result 3748 plus 289 equals 4037. The rods in the outgen change throughout the addition, while the rods in the addend at the bottom disappear. Subtraction Without borrowing in situation in which no borrowing is needed, one only needs to take the number of rods in the subtrahend from the minuend. The result of the calculation is the difference. The image on the right shows the steps in subtracting 23 from 54. Borrowing in situations in which borrowing is needed such as 4231789, one need use a more complicated procedure. The steps for this example are shown on the left. Place the minuend 4231 on top, the subtrahend 789 on the bottom. Calculate from the left to the right. Borrow 1 from the thousands place for a 10 in the hundreds place, minus 7 from the row below. The difference 3 is added to the 2 on top to form 5. The 7 on the bottom is subtracted, shown by the space. Borrow 1 from the hundreds place, which leaves 4. The 10 in the tens place minus the 8 below results in 2, which is added to the 3 above to form 5. The top row now is 3451, the bottom 9. Borrow 1 from the 5 in the tens place on top, which leaves 4. The 1 borrowed from the tens is 10 in the units place, subtracting 9 which results in 1, which are added to the top to form 2. With all rods in the bottom row subtracted, the 3442 in the top row is then the result of the calculation. Multiplication Sun Tzu described in detail the algorithm of multiplication in the mathematical classic of Sun Tzu. On the left are the steps to calculate 38 times 76. Place the multiplicand on top, the multiplier on bottom. Line up the unit's place of the multiplier with the highest place of the multiplicand. Leave room in the middle for recording. Start calculating from the highest place of the multiplicand. Using the multiplication table 3 times 7 is 21. Place 21 in rods in the middle, with 1 aligned with the tens place of the multiplier. Then, 3 times 6 equals 18. Place 18 as it is shown in the image. With the 3 in the multiplicand multiplied totally, take the rods off. Move the multiplier one place to the right. 
Change 7 to horizontal form, 6 to vertical. A times 7 equals 56. Place 56 in the second row in the middle, with the units place aligned with the digits multiplied in the multiplier. Take 7 out of the multiplier since it has been multiplied. A times 6 equals 48. 4 added to the 6 of the last step makes 10. Carry 1 over. Take off 8 of the units place in the multiplicand, and take off 6 in the units place of the multiplier. Sum the 2380 and 508 in the middle, which results in 2888. The product. Division. The animation on the left shows the steps for calculating 309 sevenths equals 441 sevenths. Place the dividend, 309, in the middle row and the divisor, 7, in the bottom row. Leave space for the top row. Move the divisor, 7, one place to the left, changing it to horizontal form. Using the Chinese multiplication table on division, 30 divided by 7 equals 4 remainder 2. Place the quotient, 4, in the top row and the remainder, 2, in the middle row. Move the divisor one place to the right, changing it to vertical form. 29 divided by 7 equals 4 remainder 1. Place the quotient, 4, on top, leaving the divisor in place. Place the remainder in the middle row in place of the dividend in this step. The result is the quotient is 44 with a remainder of 1. The Sunzi algorithm for division was transmitted in Toto by al khwarizmi to Islamic country from Indian sources in 825 AD. al khwarizmis book was translated into Latin in the 13th century. The Sunzi division algorithm later evolved into Gali division in Europe. The division algorithm in Abul Hasan al Euclidis's 925 AD book Kitab al Fujil fi al Hisab al Hindi and in 11th century Kushyar ibn Labin's principles of Hindu reckoning were identical to Sun Tzu's division algorithm. Fractions. If there is a remainder in a place value decimal rod calculus division, both the remainder and the divisor must be left in place with one on top of another. In Lu Hui's notes to Ji Zhang Suan Shu, the number on top is called Xi, while the one at bottom is called Fa. In Sun Tzu's calculation classic, the number on top is called Zi or Fenzi, and the one on the bottom is called Mu or Fenmu. Fenzi and Fenmu are also the modern Chinese name for numerator and denominator, respectively. As shown on the right, 1 is the numerator remainder, 7 is the denominator divisor, formed a fraction 1 seventh. The quotient of the division 309 sevenths is 44 plus 1 seventh. Liu Hui's used a lot of calculations with fraction in the Sea Island Mathematical Manual. This form of fraction with numerator on top and denominator at bottom without a horizontal bar in between, was transmitted to Arabic country in an 825 AD book by al khwarizmi via India, and in use by 10th century Abul Hasan al Euclidesi and 15th century Jamshid al Kashi's work, Arithmetic Key. Addition 1 third plus 2 fifths put the two numerators 1 and 2 on the left side of counting board, put the two denominators 3 and 5 at the right hand side, cross multiply 1 with 5, 2 with 3 to get 5 and 6, replace the numerators with the corresponding cross products. Multiply the two denominators 3 times 5 equals 15, put at bottom right. Add the two numerators 5 and 6 equals 11 put on top right of counting board. Result. 1 third plus 2 fifths equals 11 fifteenths. Subtraction 8 ninths minus 1 fifth put down the rod numeral for numerators 1 and 8 at left hand side of a counting board. Put down the rods for denominators 5 and 9 at the right hand side of a counting board. Cross multiply 1 times 9 equals 9, 5 times 8 equals 40. Replace the corresponding numerators. Multiply the denominators 5 times 9 equals 45. Put 45 at the bottom right of counting board. Replace the denominator 5. Subtract 40 minus 9 equals 31. Put on top right. Result. 
8 ninths minus 1 fifth equals 31 40 fifths. Multiplication 31 thirds times 52 fifths. Arrange the counting rods for 31 thirds and 52 fifths on the counting board as Shang, Shi, FA tabulation format. Shang times favorite it add to Shi. 3 times 3 plus 1 equals 10, 5 times 5 plus 2 equals 27. She multiplied by she 10 times 27 equals 270. FA multiplied by FA 3 times 5 equals 15. She divided by FA. 31 thirds times 52 fifths equals 18. Highest common factor and fraction reduction The algorithm for finding the highest common factor of two numbers and reduction of fraction was laid out in Ji Zhang Suan Xu. The highest common factor is found by successive division with remainders until the last two remainders are identical. The animation on the right illustrates the algorithm for finding the highest common factor of 32,450,625,56,400 and reduction of a fraction. In this case the HCF is 25. Divide the numerator and denominator by 25. The reduced fraction is 1,298,025 2,300,000. Interpolation calendarist and mathematician He Chengshen used fraction interpolation method, called harmonization of the divisor of the day, to obtain a better approximate value than the old one by iteratively adding the numerators and denominators of weaker fraction with a stronger fraction. Zhu Chong Ji's legendary pi equals 355 113 could be obtained with He Cheng Shen's method system of linear equations. Chapter 8 Rectangular Arrays of Ji Zhang Suan Shu provided an algorithm for solving system of linear equations by method of elimination. Problem 8 to 1. Suppose we have three bundles of top quality cereals, two bundles of medium quality cereals, and a bundle of low quality cereal with a cumulative weight of 39 Dao. We also have two, three and one bundles of respective cereals amounting to 34 Dao. We also have one, two and three bundles of respective cereals, totaling 26 Dao. Find the quantity of top, medium, and poor quality cereals. In algebra, this problem can be expressed in three system equations with three unknowns. 3x plus 2y plus z equals 39 2x plus 3y plus z equals 34x plus 2y plus 3z equals 26. This problem was solved in Ji Zhang Suanshu with counting rods laid out on a counting board in a tabular format. Similar to a 3 by 4 matrix. Algorithm. Multiply the center column with right column top quality number. Repeatedly subtract right column from center column until the top number of center column equals zero. Multiply the left column with the value of top row of right column. Repeatedly subtract right column from left column until the top number of left column equals zero. After applying above elimination algorithm to the reduced center column and left column, the matrix was reduced to triangular shape. The amount of on bundle of low quality cereal equals from which the amount of one bundle of top and medium quality cereals can be found easily. One bundle of top quality cereals equals 9 Dao. One bundle of medium cereal equals 4 Dao greater than extraction of square root. Algorithm for extraction of square root was described in Ji Zhang Suanshu and with minor difference in terminology in the mathematical classic of Sun. Z. The animation shows the algorithm for rod calculus extraction of an approximation of the square root from the algorithm in Chapter 2 Problem 19 of the Mathematical Classic of Sun Z. Now there is a square area 234,567. Find one side of the square. The algorithm is as follows. Set up 234,567 on the counting board, on the second row from top, named Chi. 
set up a marker 1 at 10,000 position at the fourth row named Chia F.A. Estimate the first digit of square root to be counting rod numeral 4, put on the top row hundreds position. Multiply the Shang 4 with Xia for 1, put the product 4 on third row named Fang F.A. Multiply Shang with Fang F.A. Deduct the product 4 by 4 equals 16 from Xi. 23 to 16 equals 7, remain numeral 7. Double up the Fang F.A. 4 to become 8, shift 1 position right, and change the vertical 8 into horizontal 8 after move right. Move Chia F.A. 2 position right. Estimate second digit of Shang as 8. Put numeral 8 at 10th position on top row. Multiply Chia F.A. with the new digit of Shang, add to Fang F.A. 8 calls 8 equals 64, subtract 64 from top row numeral, 74, leaving one rod at the most significant digit. Double the last digit of Fang F.A. 8, add to 80 equals 96. Move Fang F.A. 96 1 position right, change convention, move Chia F.A. 1 2 position right. Estimate third digit of Shang to be 4. Multiply new digit of Shang 4 with Chi Her FA1, combined with Fang FA to make 964. Subtract successively 4 asterisk 9 equals 36, 4 asterisk 6 equals 24, 4 asterisk 4 equals 16 from the Shi, leaving 311. Double the last digit 4 of Fang F.A. into 8 and merge with Fang F.A. Result. North Song Dynasty mathematician Jia Jian developed an additive multiplicative algorithm for square root extraction, in which he replaced the traditional doubling of Fang F.A. by adding Shang digit to Fang F.A. digit with same effect. Extraction of cubic root. Ji Zhang Suanshu Volume IV Xiao Guang provided algorithm for extraction of cubic root. Problem 19. We have a 1,860,867 cubic chi. What is the length of a side? Answer, 123 Kai. North Song Dynasty mathematician Jia Jian invented a method similar to simplified form of Horner scheme for extraction of cubic root. The animation at right shows Jia Qian's algorithm for solving problem 19 in Jia Zhang Suanshu Volume 4. Polynomial Equation North Song Dynasty mathematician Jia Jian invented Horner scheme for solving simple fourth-order equation of the form South Song Dynasty mathematician. Qin Jia Shao improved Jia Qian's Horner method to solve polynomial equation up to tenth order. The following is algorithm for solving in his mathematical treatise in nine sections volume 6 problem 2. This equation was arranged bottom-up with counting rods on counting board in tabular form algorithm. Arrange the coefficients in tabular form, constant at Xi, coefficient of x at Shang Lian, the coefficient of x caret 4 at Yi Yu, align the numbers at unit rank, advance Shang Lian 2 ranks, advance Yi Yu 3 ranks, estimate Shang equals 20, let Xi Lian equals Shang asterisk Yi Yu, let Fu Lian equals Shang asterisk Yi Yu. Merge Fu Lian with Shang Lian. Let Fang equals Shang asterisk Shang Lian. Subtract Shang asterisk Fang from Xi. Add Shang asterisk Yi Yu to Qi Lian. Retract Qi Lian 3 ranks. Retract Yi Yu 4 ranks. The second digit of Shang is 0. Merge Shang Lian into Fang. Merge Yi Yu into Qi Lian. Add Yi Yu to Fu Yan. Subtract the result from Fang. Let the result be denominator. Find the highest common factor equals 25 and simplize the fraction. Solution. T and Yu and Xu. Polynomial equations of four unknowns. Mathematician Zhu Shijia further developed rod calculus to include polynomial equations of two to four unknowns. For example, polynomials of three unknowns, equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. After successive elimination of two unknowns, the polynomial equations of three unknowns was reduced to a polynomial equation of one unknown.